What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kara Coop. And in today's video, I have a small haul. All of these items, well, majority of them are items that I was influenced by from YouTubers. So if you're interested, keep watching. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really can't complain. Okay, guys, so the first items, two items that I have here that I'm going to haul for you, um, they are items that came from Saks or Fifth App, and they came from online. I didn't go to the outlet. I actually just purchased them online. Now, before I even get into that, comment down below if y'all prefer shopping online now. With the COVID thing, I mean, I'm not really scared to go out and buy and purchase. I mean, we have to go outside. It's just the... The reality of it but i much per, uh, prefer just shopping online i do not feel like going in the store if i don't have to like i don't i'm not really beat for that but comment down below let me know how y'all feel about it do y'all miss going to the mall or going to outlets or going to the store or do y'all just prefer getting your things online or my favorite curbside a lot of the stores are doing that now and I love it. I am taking advantage of it. If it's one thing that uh, Rona did, it made us lazy. I mean, I don't, we ain't even got to go in the store. We ain't got to go in Walmart. We ain't got to go in Target. Yeah, you can just send your car, they'll bring it to you. I'm here for it. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this first item. Okay, guys, so the first item that I have from Saks or Fifth is going to be from, her name is Miss Tamika, and she does a lot of handbag videos. I love her videos, and she, uh, I saw her re review with her friend. I believe it was her friend. They did like a video on um, a Marc Jacobs pouch, a cosmetic pouch. Now, I have been looking for one. I'm going to keep it real. I get Ipsy every month <laughs> and I have about a hundred of them little bags I'm gonna pop a picture up so y'all can see it so those are my makeup bags but the only problem with that is all my makeup doesn't fit in there all the time so I needed something a little bit big and I wanted something nice and and you know I, I'm done with the ipsy thing I was just trying to put the little bags in use so they wouldn't you know they were just, just sitting in my drawer I've given some away but I need a really nice makeup bag now the one that i want <laughs> you know if somebody would like to buy it for me i would like the gucci makeup uh pouch and i'll pop a picture up so y'all can see that it's really nice i really really love that um i actually first saw it um last summer um in florida and um i went to the aventura mall and i almost got it but i decided to get something else that day i didn't want to spend that much money at the time. I didn't want to spend that much money into a makeup case. And I'll pop a picture of the price and you'll see the um, little pouch. But if you guys would like to get that, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, you know, on any of my friends, my family watching, y'all want to get me that. I'm cool with it. Uh -huh. But in the meantime, let me show y'all this. So here is, this is the Marc Jacobs makeup pouch. And I'm just taking the stuff out of the bag just now. This is the bag that it came in. I'm going to turn it this way because I only just stand where I live at, where I stay. But <laughs> this is the pouch. It's Marc Jacobs. And I actually have some older Marc Jacobs bags with this same type of... Oh, I pulled a little thing off. With the same type of material. And it's a really nice bag. And it's really spacious. Um, it's lined on the inside. Really nice. And like I said, Miss Tamika, um, she reviews a lot of handbags luxury handbags contemporary luxury um makeup things like that and she her friend actually got this bag she was on video with her friend and then miss tamika went and bought it too so she actually um she had a video where she showed it and that's what made me get it like i really like it now there were a couple different colors on the site up there i decided to get the black because again i am clumsy and i'm one of them people i'll walk around with my makeup crunched up in the in my bag <laughs> but not crunched up you know how you got like little eyeshadows and stuff on it and makeup gets everywhere i'm that person so i wanted something i said i would try the black if i really like this i will go back and get another one i mean it really wasn't expensive it was under $60. I believe it was like $50. And um, at the time, Saks had some kind of deal. Saks or Fifth had some kind of deal where they was actually taking a percentage off. So that was pretty good. And the colors that they had online, they had green, 
they had black and i think they had another color too i can't remember but i do remember seeing green and black so i went for the black and i could wear that anytime and y'all yeah i'm really excited about this it's my mark jacobs cosmetic bag <laughs> Okay, guys, so the next item that we have here. Now, this is a handbag. Now, the handbag is from a company. Sorry for the noise. But it's from a company that um, I would always see. Like, I saw it a lot at Nordstrom. Um, you see them online, and I've, I've actually seen a lot of people review the bag. It was a bag that wasn't necessarily my speed, I didn't think at the time, but I kept seeing them. And again, last summer, I was gonna get this bag, right? And not this particular one, but one like it. And um, I decided against, I'm like, I wouldn't need, it's not really giving what I needed to give. I don't know, I want something different. The color was nice, but I wanted it for the fall, so I passed on it. And um, that was at Nordstrom when they had that, they have that sale once a year, it's like in the summertime. I don't know what they call the sale. Like, I think it's the anniversary sale. So I passed on it, I didn't get the bag then. But on Saks off of one night, just scrolling, and I saw this little baby right here. And it's a Longchamp bag. And like I said, I'm just taking this stuff out. And I'm doing this review so I can go ahead and put this stuff away because I'm tired of it sitting in the box. <laughs> And it's a really nice bag. I mean, it was on sale. Like I said, they had a sale going on and I paid under $80 for this. I think it was like $50. So it was really inexpensive. And it's a small little bag. I think I could wear this in the summer. I would definitely wear it in the fall. And it's really small. I could fit all my things in it. Um, I think it's cute. And I actually want to get a bigger one, a bigger tote one to travel with and just a bigger one just to have because I like them that much. Um, the straps are leather, if y'all can see that. Let's put that up. And I'm sure y'all seen these bags all over the internet, probably bigger. But I've never been interested in Longchamp. And one of the people that really got me thinking to get a long shop her name on instagram on instagram her name on youtube is pink butterfly girl and i love her channel she is another lady that does she's so pretty she does um makeup videos she does handbags she got a a fire handbag collection she does a lot of hauls um She's just, I love her style. You know what I mean? She She's so cute to me. I love that lady. I don't even know her. <laughs> but I do love her channel. And yes, she definitely was a big influence for me getting this bag. Now, I did see another video. Um, I believe her name is Yoda Styles. I can't, I'll, I'll leave a handle. I can't remember her name and I apologize off the top of my head. But she had one that was kind of like a sequence. Yeah, I can't find that one because I want that one. And it was black. And I saw her, I saw her review of that, um, and her haul of that this month. And I really, really like that one. And I believe that one is on the Longchamp site. I will leave a picture up so you guys can see that. And that one is really cute. It comes with a strap and it looks like it can be crossbody. I'm a little bit fluffier than they are, but I think I could rock with it, you know, crossbody. But yeah, this is my Longchamp. I think it's this is my first Longchamp. I've never owned a Longchamp bag and it's a lot of little details on it. Like I like the little gold zipper thing right there. It is a little bit of leather in it. So, yeah, I'm into it. And it was really affordable for it to be my first long shop. I didn't want to go and spend a whole bunch of money if I didn't. I hate returning stuff. Um, you will guys will learn that about me. I'm getting better at it. <laughs> but I hate sending stuff back. Like, I just, I don't like returning stuff. That's a whole nother video. But, yeah. Small shop. Thank you, pink girl. Pink butterfly girl. <laughs> Okay, guys, now we're going to go to the really, really good stuff. Oh, okay. This one I'm really excited about, but I'm a little, but a little funny because the box look a little different. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I ain't got my glasses on. This one, I actually just opened the box. I had this for about two weeks in my um, little corner here in my house. So, yeah, 
I was tripping. But anyway, this is a repurchase. Now, this one I got from the girl Keiko Beauty. Keiko Beauty is one of my favorite. <laughs> I love her channel. Now, I'm one of those people. I watch a lot of people and I just love her channel. I can relate to like everything that she does. She is so bomb. I think that we have somewhat of the same fragrance uh, since she likes the same scents that I do. And this particular fragrance, I saw her video, it might have been a year, maybe two years ago. I can't remember. She, I, I used to work in sales, so it's really hard to sell me something. <laughs> and she wasn't trying to sell it, but she sold it on me. I went, as soon as I saw the video that first time, I went and purchased this perfume. And it's no other than Shaga Food. I love this fragrance. And it's by Swiss Arabian. Swiss Arabian Shaga Food. And this box looks a little different. This is like my third time buying this perfume. And the last time I bought it, I believe it was last year. And I got really low on my bottle. So I decided to order another one. But this bottle, this, this box looks a little suspect. I don't remember my box looking like this. So I need to make sure this is later on. This is what it's supposed to be in here. Because, you know, Amazon, Amazon sometimes, you know, it'd be different sellers. And another thing with this perfume, the price of it. The price that went up, when I initially first bought it, when she reviewed it, I, I believe I paid under $40. Then I went back and I bought it as a gift for somebody and it was like 50 something dollars. I actually told a couple people about it and they still bought it at the $50 mark, but they were like, I thought you said it was 30 something dollars. But I don't know, if the, they were doing something kind of funky with the, the pricing. And I bought it again a second time because I was using this a lot. And it is a oud fragrance, so it's a little heavy. And I will leave the fragrance notes down below of what Swiss Arabian is. But the smell of it, I can't remember who it was. But somebody described, I watched the video, it might have been Keiko, I can't remember. But somebody said that this smelled like, they had never been to Dubai. But if they went to Dubai, this is what it would smell like. And that's what it kind of did for me too. It also reminds me of, it's, it's like a, a insect kind of smell. It's heavy, it's unisex. Men can wear it, women can wear it. I'm suggesting this to mad people and they love it. it I mean, it's a really, you gotta be somebody that's into a ooh scent. So don't think you gonna get this and you gonna smell roses cause you're not. Um, but it's a really, really bomb scent. And again, I got this from my girl Keiko Beauty. Y'all follow her channel. Follow all these ladies. They all are dope in their own way. But this one right here, this is one of my favorite scents. Uh, Shagav U, Swiss Arabian, whoever made this, y'all need to pay her. Because like I said, I'm somebody, a lot of times when I go in the store, I already know what I want. You know what I mean? You can't really sell me nothing. But she wasn't trying to sell this. She wasn't getting a promo or nothing for this. And she... Definitely sold me on this. And this is Swiss Arabian Shaga Food. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we got some more fun stuff. We're going to keep in the spirit of scents. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep the scent train going. Woo -woo. Okay, that was corny. But anyway, we're going to keep it in scents. So, my next um, box... I'm going to try to lift it up. I don't need y'all seeing my address. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. It's from Zara, okay? <laughs> it's from Zara because everything's moving around in there. And I got a couple things from Zara. Um, I have just got into Zara sets. I've seen a lot of reviews on Zara sets. And I love their scents. And I got a couple other different things in here too. So let's just keep talking about the scents. Okay, so again... We're going to keep talking about the scents. Now, my first Zara scent, I got it last year, which is Ebony Woods, and I love that. That's like a everyday scent. I like it in the winter. I've mixed it with Baccarat Rouge. Um, it smells good to me. I like it. I like what it gave off. You know what I mean? And I wanted to get more into them. So there were a couple of different videos that I saw just talking about different scents. 
um, from Zara. One in particular is from Pretty Bree MUA. She has, she is a, another beautiful, beautiful lady. Um, bomb makeup artist. If I ever go to West Palm Beach, Florida, I don't like paying for people to do my makeup because I own a lot of it, but I would love for her to do my makeup. She is so fire. She's another one. Bomb uh, handbag collection, perfume collection, but she does dip high and lows with her perfume. She likes a lot of different scents. So she had talked about a couple of these scents and then there were just a lot of different videos I saw on YouTube that influenced these perfume purchases from Zara. So this is a Zara segment, like I said, and I got these all online. I ain't going to, but we don't have a Zara where I live. So <laughs> yeah, these are all purchased online. So the first scent that we have, and again, I'm a little handy dandy note because I can't remember all of this. The first scent that we have is gonna be Feels at Night. Now, Feels at Night, I actually opened this already. I'm sorry, y'all. I opened this one already. So y'all can see it. And I really like this one. It is a perfume that I think for me, I would wear this in the spring. I think you could kind of rock it anytime. You can wear what you want or whenever you want. That's another one of my favorites. Sheree Lewis, she always says that. But um, this one, I would wear this more in the spring. Um, it's really light. I didn't expect for it to be this light. I thought it was going to get more of a punch, but I like it. I actually really, really like it. And it lasts a long time with me, too. Then it's really pretty. I'm going to show y'all how the bottle looks. And I will pop um, the notes on the screen so y'all can see the notes. And this is the, the bottle. And as you can see, I think I wore this a couple of times. And it's a really pretty bottle. It's very simple. And if y'all didn't know... Um, I don't know if this, these are, I'll have to look that up and I'll correct myself on the screen, but I'm not sure if these are inspired by um, Joe Malone as well. I know the Ebony Woods, you know, those are, but this is, um, let me actually just spray it a little bit. Let's spray it. I ain't gonna spray all of them, but I'm gonna spray this one. I'm gonna spray the box. That's what I'll do. Yeah, it's really soft. It's really small, soft. I smell like cotton. I don't know why I like cotton candy. It's sweet. And it's funny because I don't really gravitate towards really sweet fragrances. And I will pop a picture up. This smells really, really good, y'all. It's really good. It's super soft. Um, it's refreshing. It's one of those scents that when you get out of the shower, I would like mix that with my body cream. And I would wear a body cream that had a really, really sweet scent. I love that. Um, now, Feels at Night, I actually do have um, the notes right here. So it says Feels, Feels at Night has praline, jasmine, and sandalwood. So I definitely smell the jasmine in that. Um, I can smell the, the sandalwood I can smell it now. You don't smell it when you first spray it. So the jasmine is popping in there, but it's really, it's a really, really pretty scent. Really feminine, um, really feminine. So if you want to feel extra pretty, really girly, feels at night is really, really dope. I'm gonna look through my collection and I would like to see what I can mix this with. I want to see, you know, I'm not sure yet. I can't think of anything yet. I don't know if I, it, I it's, it's that cotton candy. This is gonna sound crazy, and I know everybody, everybody talk about Baccarat Rouge, but I wonder how this would smell mixed with Baccarat Rouge. That might be a video, huh? What can we mix Feels at Night? Feels at Nightfall, what did I call it? Feels at Night, it's Feels at Nightfall. Look at it, I can read y'all, I swear I can. But <laughs> it's really pretty and it's super affordable. This was $25.90, this was super cheap. All of the, most of the Zara Ferguses, are under well, the ones that I purchased, they're under $40. So, yeah, very affordable. Like I said, I'm not sending it back. It's one that I didn't really care for because I kind of sprayed all of them. But this one, I actually wore. I wore this one because, like I said, Pretty Brie anyway, she talked so much about this. And it is pretty. I'm glad I got it. But I want to mix it with something else. I don't know why I keep 
Baccarat Rouge 540 keeps popping in my head. But yeah, check this out, y'all. Feels at nightfall and pretty free MUA. She got me to buy this. <laughs> check her channel out too, y'all. <laughs> okay, guys. So the next perfume that we have. Ah, let me get that out. The next perfume we have is going to be still from Zara. We still on the Zara train. It's going to be Universal Oud. And this is a beautiful box. I love the color of this box. This stuff is so simple. Like, they don't got to do much. You know what I mean? And this is a, a parfum. Eau de Parfum. And it's really pretty. I love this box. And the scent notes in this one is black pepper, oud, and patchouli. And this one was $29.90. It was really inexpensive as well. I can't remember which one of these. It was, like I said, it was one that I really didn't. I was like, I don't know about that. But we'll know when I smell it because I'm spraying all of them. And again, it comes with this little card in the box. And this is the actual perfume. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, it's a Lancome perfume. I haven't, um, I haven't purchased that one yet. I can't think of the name of it, but I will pop a picture of. That's what it kind of, the vibe that it kind of gave me sitting in here. And it's like a real skinny bottle. I can't think of the name of that perfume. But yeah, let's take this one out. Yeah, they had this one like all the way down in there. Dang. Okay. This is the perfume. And we're going to smell it. I'm going to spray it right on this card. And I'm not sure. I know for a fact that Pretty Brie MUA talked about, I believe it was this one too. I'm not sure. But I know she definitely, her, she influenced the feels at Nightfall. That she was, yeah, that was her. <laughs> so we're going to smell this one. Yeah, I, this is the one I like. This is pretty. Oh yeah, this is grown. This is sexy. To me it is. You gotta like a ood though, just like I was telling y'all about the Shaga food. You don't get this stuff if you don't like a ood scent cause you, you gonna get your feelings hurt, okay? But this is really, really pretty. I can't, actually can't wait to wear this. Now, Oh, that black pepper. I love, I didn't never would think that I would love to send a black pepper. Like, I, I don't know why. But this smells so good. It's so well blended. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This smells so good. This, I think, yeah, this one is Joe Malone, too, because they have on the back the little saying, and it says, love Joe. But, y'all, oh, my God. And it kind of, okay, I have one Joe Malone scent. I think it's called Velvet Oud. And even though Velvet is called Velvet Rose Oud. And I don't smell any rose in this, but it's like that same Oud smell that that Velvet Oud has because it's very, very strong. Yeah, this is... Mm. <laughs> yo, this smells good, y'all. Y'all, Universal Oud. Go get it. Get online and go get it. This is bomb. Okay, guys, so the next scent that we have, I was just like on a whole spree with the scents with, um, <laughs> with Zara. I was like, yo, if I'm going to get one, I'm going to just get them all. You go big as a home. So I got, well, I didn't get them all. I only got four. But the next one is Wonder Rose. And that's a really pretty box. And like I said, one of these, I kind of, when I opened the box, I, I'm, I just kind of like sprayed a couple of them just to see. But one of them I didn't care for. I think this one, <laughs> I think this might be the one, but we gonna smell it anyway. And I'm spraying these on the box. I'm not spraying these on my skin. Um, I will come back and do an actual review of these scents, but I'm gonna review each of them and let y'all know, you know, what I think, how long they lasted and all of that. But I'm spraying them on a the box. You know, sometimes the box is, well, the majority of the time, the box is not gonna be the true scent, but you'll know if you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is Wonder Rose. And Wonder Rose, it's a really pretty bottle. 
And it says this one has peach, red fruits, notes in it, red fruity notes. And I'm not like a fruity girl, so that might be why I don't really like. Well, I don't know if I don't like it. I don't remember if I like it. We have to see right now. Okay, why am I nervous? I ain't sending it back. Yeah, this is the one I hate. <laughs> I don't like this one. And it's gonna, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. And it's, and I love the scent of rose, but the fruit is a bit much for me. And, it, and maybe it's the box. I feel bad for what I'm about to say. But this smells like, <laughs> and this is just, and this is no offense to whoever created this. It's an eau de toilette. This is no offense to anyone. That, it's on this box. That's what I'm going to say. On this box, it smells like that fragrant toilet water. You know how somebody put one of them scents in the toilet? That's what this smells like to me. And it, it, it's probably the box, y'all. <laughs> it's probably the damn box, but I do not like how this smells on the box. I am very curious to wear this out and to see if I really like it. Um, that will be a video coming up. And yeah, this is, uh, I don't, I don't care for this at all but it is a pretty bottle i'm not sending it back y'all got my money zara please don't be offended and i really think it's just the box but it's not i'm getting toilet toilet water vibes yeah I'm, let's go ahead and go to the next one Ooh. okay the last <laughs> fragrance that i have from zara and this is one that i had saw for a long time I think Keiko Beauty talked about this one too. I'm not, I think it was her and it was someone else. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna be 40 this year, y'all. Y'all gotta excuse me. But I can't remember who it was. One of the, one of the ladies spoke about this. Um, and this is apple juice. It's apple juice, apple juice. And I heard so many good things about it. Um, I tried to smell this last year when I went uh, to New Jersey, when I went home and I went to the Zara there and they didn't have it out. I don't know what the deal was. It was this one they didn't have out and it was another one, but I didn't get to smell it. And um, yeah, I, 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 I actually like this one and I'm not a big, as you could tell, I'm not really into fruity scents, but I actually like this one, but I would only wear this one in the summer. Let me just remind myself and smell it again. Super affordable. It's $17.90. Um, and it's a... Oh, Lord, it's the same kind of box, y'all. <laughs> it's the same kind of box as the Wonder Rose, Jesus. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> it... um, Like I said, I've been wanting this for a couple years. I just never, just never purchased it. And it's the same kind of bottle. I think these bottles are really pretty. They're cute. I think they'll look nice on your dresser, your vanity, wherever you store your perfumes. Display your perfumes. It's really pretty. I love the color. It's green, which is cute. Giving Granny Smith vibes. <laughs> All right, so let's spray this and let's hope this don't smell like toilet water, child. Please don't be mad that I said that, y'all. If you really love that fragrance, I'm not saying that. Cause I know people get sensitive and it's all fun and I pay for this stuff. They didn't send it to me so I could say how I feel about it. Okay. So please don't nobody be offended. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. Oh my God. Ah, oh, it's so refreshing. I wonder do they have a body um, wash or something with it? This smells so good. It's not like something sexy, but it just smells good. It's, you just want to keep spraying it. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this. Okay, let's see what the notes in this one is. Oh, my God. Apple juice is the bomb. It's apple, orange, and looks like it's pink. Hold on. Let me see. I can't read my handwriting. I'm going to just pop it up on the screen okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pop it up on the screen but you definitely smell the apple this smells really good 
<sighs> it's apple juice, y'all. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. It's about to be spring. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we getting down to the nitty gritty. We getting down to the nitty gritty. Mm. Okay. So, the next item that I saw that was influenced, and this was influenced by Tasha B., I love her channel. Um, I just, um, I've been subscribed to her channel for a couple months. Didn't really pay attention that she had an Instagram and I just followed her on Instagram. And she is so dope. I love her style. She does a lot of videos on um, plus size fashion, apple shade woman, that's me, got the belly. And I bought a couple of things based off her recommendation. But one thing that stood out in particular, I don't like a lot of necklaces. I I don't like stuff on my neck. I don't know. I love earrings, but um, I'm not really into necklaces. I used to be, but not so often. And I need something really simple, really dainty. And she kept, she hauled this. I, I believe she hauled it. And I know she had it in a couple of her styling videos. This chain necklace. This is so pretty. And it's so simple. It's not doing too much. You can still wear it with your other pieces. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with this, but it's really pretty and it can go with anything. And she dressed it up. She dressed it down. And I said, I have to have this. And apparently this was really popular because the first time I saw her with it, she put the link on her channel and I went to buy it and it was sold out. And I went back, I went back like maybe two or three times and it wasn't, I didn't see it in stock. And I recently just saw it, you know, and I said, oh, let me get this. But this is so pretty and this is definitely influenced by Tasha B. Check her out. She is so dope. Her styles are dope. Clothes are dope. Check her out, y'all. Tasha B. Okay, guys. So the last item that I have from Zara, this was not really influenced from anybody um because I, I have a couple of zara bags but this was a bag that i saw that zara had and it was actually on sale so i'm gonna show y'all this bag and it's really pretty i just needed like a basic black bag and it was at a great price i think it was like 25 dollars the normal price on it is 49.90 and zara they do have um they're really bad they're really nice bags um if you are somebody who you don't want to spend like a bunch of money on a bag, meaning you don't want to spend $2,000 on a bag, but you can get a wide sale like this, it's about $2,400, $2,500. But if you don't, you might not want to spend that. Girl, go to Zara and get you a bag. These are really nice bags. This is, um, I have the other one, like the other Zara bag that, that like that Bottega one, but I don't have the Bottega green, I have the brown one. <laughs> And I think I got saw that from Pretty Bree's channel. But this one was just on the site. And so I said, girl, let me just add you to the collection. I know I can wear you somewhere. And it's really cute. It's it's just a regular go bag. And I mean, I think you can dress this up. You can dress it down. You know, it's decent quality. That's the good thing about Zara bags. They're really decent quality. So again, guys, if you do not want to spend a bunch of money on a bag, if you don't want to spend thousands, if you don't even... Now, they got some bags on there for... I've seen some, like, a hundred and more. But they're good quality, y'all. Go check it out. Zara. Okay, guys. We are down to the last item. So, this last item, this wasn't necessarily influenced by anybody on YouTube. It's an item that I needed. And, y'all, it is my Bible. And it's so pretty. I love this Bible. I need it. A new Bible. Now, quick story, okay? I'm talking about the Bible, Lord, and I got a Metallica shirt on. Okay, but anyway, he knows my heart. <laughs> now, I needed a new Bible. The Bible that I did have, it was really, really small. I couldn't see nothing in the Bible. And of course, I mean, like everybody else, I used the Bible app. But I needed something that I could actually have in my hand. And, y'all, it's so pretty. Look at the words, and they have Bible scriptures right here and here. It's so pretty. So I'm on just a different journey in my life right now. Um, I've had some things that were going on, you know, with my health and different things I had going on, and I'm in such a, 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 a good space right now, and it's because of, it's because of God. So I'm like, I need a new Bible. 
okay? And it came in this box. And it says NIV. This is a um, NIV, the uh, New International Version. And um, it's really nice. It's a really nice Bible. I've highlighted it and already. I've read it and used it for, you know, what I needed it for, what I'm doing with my life right now. So, yeah. I will link this below. And it was a really good deal. It was originally, I believe it was like $60, but I only paid like $30 for it. $34, somewhere like that. But I love this Bible. Okay, guys, that concludes our video today. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Know this Zara Hall got a little crazy, but I do appreciate you guys just sticking through it. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Also, go follow me over on Instagram. It's Kara underscore cool. And make sure you guys are following all the ladies that I mentioned in this haul that got me to buy this stuff because you'll be buying stuff too. All right. Thanks, y'all. Peace and blessings.